Hello there. Um, haven't given an update in a while, so I thought I would uh, show you kind of what I've done. I just cleaned the cage. I didn't really change the layout much, but um, like I mentioned last time, I did end up taking this wall off so that I could raise these up higher so I feel a lot more secure um, that they won't be able to get out. I did kind of move everything that's somewhat tall far enough away that I feel like they wouldn't be able to climb up onto something and then jump out. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, the only thing I need to find a way to make like a door or something because getting in and out myself isn't very easy. Um, but yeah, and their little dig area, the grass is mostly dead because um, Fizzbin keeps ripping it up to eat the seeds, which I knew he would do. Um, so mo that's mostly been dug up. And then I built them this little popsicle stick house just because I was at the dollar store and I thought they were cute. So it's literally just they go in the bottom, they can hop up here, they can hop up on the roof, there's a little fence. It's cute. I just put that in there today. They're kind of checking it out, climbing around on it, so I think they're enjoying it. I also gave them a couple, um, I had corn for dinner, so I gave them the corn cob because I read that they, they enjoy those and that's not dangerous for them to eat the cob. And then this hasn't really changed much. I want to switch their bedding. Um, I found another type of bedding I want to use. So I didn't want to buy a new bag, but I was also running really low on the Carefresh bedding, which is this paper stuff down here. So I had a bunch of this left over from the digging area in there. Hi, I think that's triple. Hi, babes. Um, yep. So I had a bunch of that left, so I put it a couple places. I put it in here, in, in these, in here, and then in here I just put some tissue paper because they don't really go in there much anyway, and really any bedding is falls out. So I normally just, like, I think I had a t-shirt in there which was just nasty and I didn't even feel like washing it, so. But yeah, so they're enjoying it. Um, they've now had their second mite treatment, so they've been um, treated for a whole month and I've seen a huge improvement. Um, they both seem so much happier, so much livelier. They're kind of like hopping and bopping around. They're like popcorning and just they seem so much more energetic and um, so much more playful and they're scratching a lot less. And I've also noticed that their relationship has gotten way better. Like Fizzbin doesn't, I mean, they still play fight a lot, but I never feel like it's legitimately like Fizzbin might hurt Tribble anymore. Like Tribble's never squeaking or distressed anymore when they're playing and they're just exploring because I just finished cleaning. so. Everything's all new and doesn't smell like them anymore. But um, Tribble comes out and plays and explores and Fizzbin um, doesn't bother him. And I find them curled up sleeping together, which I hadn't, didn't, hadn't really seen since I got them. So they're doing way better with each other, which is a relief because, I mean, at the end of the day, even if Fizzbin never, like, is comfortable with me, he and Tribble live peacefully together, so he doesn't have to be separated or anything. And even if I could never neuter him, like, he lives peacefully with his brother. So he's not alone and he's not rat aggressive. So that's been a huge relief for me. Um, as far as our relationship, um, I don't really know what to say. I've kind of just taken the stance that I'm just not going to give him the opportunity to hurt me. So we don't really have any interaction with each other. Um, I can stand in here. Obviously I've been in here for a while and um, I don't sit down so he can't get up at me. And then I have this uh, plexiglass, which used to be my barrier on the side of the cage so that it fell off. And for a while I was just, anytime he came near my feet, I would just block him. I wouldn't push him or anything. I would just block his access to me. And I tried to kind of just stay out of his way. You know, if he was in the box area and he seemed like he wasn't coming out, I would move to the other side. Or, and a lot of times I do just leave the area and let them play totally uninhibited. But Tri Tribble likes to hang out with me. So a lot of times Tribble will climb up here and then climb up onto my shoulder from there. And I feel like um, 
Fizzman has now, like I, I wear really thick shoes, so if he tries to nip at my feet, um, he can't hurt me. And I just never put my hands in a place that he could hurt me. Um, and that seems to have helped. Uh, he doesn't really try to bite my feet as much anymore. He doesn't really come approach me and get all puffed up as much anymore. I'm not really eager to try touching him because I'm so like gun shy now that I feel like I would almost make it worse because my body language would be so nervous because I am honestly a bit afraid of him now, but we can coexist and that's really all that matters. And for the most part, I can kind of move him as I need to, you know, I to get him in the travel cage, all I really would need to do is just close everything else and wait for him to go in there. And when I want him to go back in the cage, I usually just sprinkle some food in there or wait until they both just happen to go in, which happens a lot when they're out playing. So, um, it's going all right. You know, it's like one of those things that would be better if, you know, he didn't want to bite me all the time. That would, you know, be ideal. But um, at least at this stage, I'm not getting bit all the time. So, and since, cause I initially, if I got to the point where I was kind of thinking maybe I should just have him put down, but since he and Tribble are getting along so much better now, I feel like that's not really necessary because, you know, he seems like a perfectly normal, happy, well-adjusted rat, as long as I'm not trying to interact with him. And even now, like today is probably the best he's done in that he's not like hiding near me. He's coming up to me, walking over my feet, um, maybe taking a nip at my shoes and then just kind of doing his thing. So um, if nothing else, we can coexist this way. Um, and I guess, I mean, that's, that's okay. As long as he's having a decent quality of life, I'm not necessarily, you know, <laughs> I don't know where the other corn cob went. One of them must have hit it somewhere. Hey, Tribble. Um, but then, of course, I was a little jealous because my friend who has a lot more experience with rodents than I do, um, she actually has worked with like lab rats and guinea pigs and stuff like that, uh, came over to help me transport them the other day. And she literally just reached in and grabbed him, and he didn't show the slightest sign of... Um, like he was gonna bite her and she held him for a second, he didn't bite her and so I was like, why doesn't he hate you? Um, and she was like, oh, real nice, you want your rat to bite me. I forgot to move this back out, they like to run behind it. Like to make a little makeshift tunnel behind it. Um, but yeah, so I don't know, maybe what it comes down to, maybe his main problem with me is that I'm so hesitant and I always have been because I've never had rodents before so I, I'm hesitant in the way that I try to interact with them, the way I try to pick them up, the way I try to touch them, because I don't know rat body language. I don't, I've never worked with rats before, so I'm just, I, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. And so I get nervous and I think he picks up on that. And so I think, hi, Fizzbin. I actually like to close this, but Tribble's still out. I'm gonna close you in and then get Tribble. But yeah, so things are definitely improving. Um, there's still some room for improvement, but I'm pretty pleased and I think we're gonna be okay, which is really all I can ask for. Come here, honey. Tribble likes me, don't you, bud? Careful. You're very out of focus, mister. All right, I should stop recording so I can put this little goober back in his cage so I can finish cleaning up. Don't fall. Oof. <laughs> Come here. I'm just gonna put him on my shoulder for a second. Hey, Fizz. Yeah, I threw away some of their stash because I didn't think they were actually eating it. They just were stashing it, so now they're re-stashing everything, I feel like. Right, Tribble, go back in. Go on. Tribble, go back in your cage. <laughs> Get in there. Thank you. All right. I do kind of try to 
um, stand near the cage when Fizbin isn't loose. Try to get myself really close to him to kind of, again, get my scent near him, get him like kind of thinking, oh, hey, you know, she can be near me and it doesn't have to be scary. We don't have to interact. So, because ultimately what he's kind of doing now is what I want the end goal to be, which is just, if you don't want to be around me, that's fine. Just go do something else. You don't have to bite me. You can just leave. I just want him to know that that's an option for him, that he can just walk away instead of trying to hurt me. So things are going better. Good night, Tribble. Good night, Fizzbin. Doesn't want to focus on it. There he is. Good night.